Hi everyone, this is me Mohammed Yaqub and at this video I want to demonstrate to you my Biomechatronics Individual Project. My project title is Guest Recognition with 3-axis accelerometer signals using a dynamic time wrapping algorithm. Um, and I have developed my algorithm here in LabVIEW. And I have connected an external accelerometer device to stream the X, Y and Z acceleration to the PC serially and to uh, LabVIEW. Um, and before I start the demo, let me give you a very quick description to my LabVIEW front panel. Um, let me start with this bit. If you, wanna, if you want to record a new training or learning data, you start by writing its name at this box and then you click on record training data. And the new learning gesture will be added to this gesture list. And you click this to record a testing data. And if you want to start the recognition process, you click, you simply click on start recognition. And the recognized gesture will appear at this string indicator. Uh, this graph display the acceler accelerometer data in real time. Um, this one display the recorded testing data and this one would display the matched learning data in here. Now let's start the demo straight away. Uh, first run the LabVIEW VI and I'll record a right swing so I'll call it right and I click on record training. Oops, not yet ready. I'll record it again. Right swing and I'll record left swing as well. Left left uh, frozen one second all right work again I'll record that again um, left uh, one more left all right perfect I think it's getting slow because I'm recording at the same time um, upward I'll do up and I'll just have some uh, very interesting one let me do a circle so I'll record a circle a circle now let's test some of these gestures uh, let me test a right swing start uh, simple so right swing uh, a second uh, start with the right swing and check. Perfect. Now let me do a left, left swing, and I also got that. Let me do it up, upward, up, and I also got that. Let me do the circle now. Circle. Perfect. Now let's do a few more uh, gestures, uh, maybe a square, uh, let's test that, um, see if we can get a square, fantastic, uh, maybe we also do a uh, triangle. I'll do a right angle triangle. And let's test that. Brilliant. Um, let's do a random one. Um, maybe like right, left, forward, backward. Uh, just to do things in the uh, y axis as well. Right, left, forward, backward. So let's test that. Right, left, forward, backward. Awesome. And before I finish off, uh, let me also demonstrate the case where the recorded testing data is a random data, and none of those gestures. And I expect the algorithm to tell me that the recognized gesture is unknown. So let's do that. Record a very random data. Start recognition. Perfect. It told me it's an unknown gesture. Uh, just one more thing. 
uh, when I come out the videos together I discover that I've done them all in order so I recorded right left up circle and I have tested right left up circle in the same order uh, and just to prove to you that algorithm works regardless of the order um, I'll do a few of them so let me start with anyone uh, maybe up so let's do up up and start recognition and I got the up um, let's pick a square perhaps let's do a square so let's test the square um, and I got the square one more one triangle perhaps awesome so algorithm is not cheating Alright, that's all I wanted to demonstrate at this video, uh, but before the end of the video, let me take you briefly through my LabVIEW block diagram. So, basically my block diagram is divided into two parts, the left part and the right part. The left part is dedicated for, um, for recording and storing data in a database, the learning and the testing data, uh, and the right side is uh, concerned with applying the dynamic time wrapping algorithm, uh, specifically this sub VI. Uh, it compares the learning learning data registers with the single test data that was just recorded. And this sub VI implements the dynamic time wrapping algorithm. It takes the two signal as input and it returns the accumulated cost as an output. And I can't really say a lot about it because uh, I can't get into much details. It will take me lots of time, but that's uh, the main uh, idea. I hope you find it useful. Thank you. Or oh, Shokran. Sure,